Hi, Vitalik. We've never met personally, but I know your best friend, Mihal, who basically, as you know, took my IP to create Ethereum. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm impressed with what you did because I would never have built it on the blockchain. I would have built something more like Encarta, and what you did was built Wikipedia off my IP, and that's brilliant. But what pisses me off is, number one, you never recognized me when I pointed this out, and instead you circled your wagons and you kicked Mihai off as a co-founder. Now, I was always wondering how the heck was the connection between Mihai and you. And then I happened to be making a post just this morning, and I looked you up, and I saw Bitcoin Magazine. You're one of the founders of Bitcoin Magazine. And I've always known that Mihai was, was created as the creator of a Bitcoin magazine. So there you are. In 2012, and I'm posting the logs right here, you can, you can read the, the convo. And the other cool thing is that all of my work is in a kind of archive, locked in something called Slide Rocket, that I've not been able to access since 2013 because they went out of business. However, all the IP is stuck right there. All the stuff I showed, Mihai, everything I went through, that proves that, number one, that the IP that you used and built upon, which I shared in confidence and I told him at the time that I'm looking to recruit you and bring you on, and you could have just brought me on as a co-founder. But instead, you had to just, you know, like all startups do, just steal and use it for your own uh, benefit. Well, you're on report. You know, I'm planning to go after you. I'm planning to basically go after you, not necessarily um, in litigation, but hopefully I'm appealing to the Ethereum Classic community to join with me. Elect me as your spokesman. Elect me as your visionary. To, to take ETC back and destroy Ethereum. We can destroy Ethereum, all right? And I'm gonna tell you how right in this video, and I hope you know, you're, you're paying attention, uh, Vitalik, because this is gonna happen if the ETC community will put me as their spokesperson. Number one is this, is I need consensus. We need to change ETC, and we need to fulfill my vision that uh, Vitalik doesn't quite get, all right? I'm the only one who really sees the opportunity and potential of Ethereum because ultimately it's built on my ideas of the open innovation framework. So how will we differ from Ethereum? Number one is there is something that I've been working on and I know how it's going to work and everything else. I've got the talent to build it. It's called the Noodle. The Noodle is a black box that ultimately removes the need of a Vitalik a foundation or an organization or banking or anything else to be part of it. Number two is the code will be pure. We will not allow any of the external 1% code from Merrill Lynch, which is right now actively trying to, well, they'll deny it, take over Ethereum. But if you look at the Ethereum code, you're going to see all sorts of Merrill Lynch and um, other crap code making its way into the blockchain. We have to keep the 1% out of the blockchain, all right? We have to keep them out, um, at, at least at the beginning, right? Until we flatten and we make a fair and equitable back blockchain that's represented for the individuals. Number two is this, is that what people don't understand is I have the business model that will power the collaborative economy and create basically one collaborative economy on the planet. One, think of it as um, a co-op, one co-op right? And, and it will be built on uh, ETC. And I would invite you to, to basically Skype me or talk to me um, via Skype and I'll explain everything. Um, and it's just great. I feel great that finally I know the connection between 
um, and Mihao, which was actually seemed like a really honestly good person, and I'm just going to say that the little shit corrupted you and said, no, 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 we can do it ourselves because I'm a little, I'm a little Russian, you know, gangster, mafia, codist, right? Probably. Because Mihai, I do think in your heart you're a good guy. As people can read, we talked about crazy shit. But ultimately, I'm going to link everything so you make the decision. Where did the idea of Ethereum come from? Right? I'll tell you what, it didn't come from that little skinny little Russian's ass. It came from me, who spent from uh, 2009 to 2012 developing it, right? And finishing the idea. And then out of frustration, reaching out to Mihai for his help because I knew the man or the 1% or the investors wouldn't build it because ultimately found ups kills the startup. Business model. It transforms the planet from a selfish to a selfless one. It ushers in the empathic civilization. Okay? And I don't care about money. I will take all my money and put it back. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this because if we don't do it, we're all fucked. Okay? And the way that the blockchain is going right now, we are creating two models that are doubly going to fuck us. They're going to fuck us in the rear. They're going to fuck us in the mouth. And, and I'm telling you guys, <laughs> I don't know. You just have to, like, you know, uh, Skype me if you're in leadership, if you're in charge of one of the, the big exchanges, and let's work together to bring down the cartel. Let's work together to end this hold of the 1% because they are reaching deep into the blockchain and trying to take it from us. And we can stop them. Core. Be one with core. As an add-on, don't worry, Vitalik. I'm a peaceful guy. I'm actually a Buddhist. I'm a Taoist. I don't believe in any violence or anything of the part. But I like to play a good game, and I do hope that we can basically meet and talk. And, you know, you built the thing that I wanted to build, and that is brilliant. And you built it better than I could ever have built it, and that is brilliant. What you did is completely brilliant, all right? But you're still an a-hole for not basically giving me credit, and that's what I'm going to fight for for the rest of my life, for you to give me credit that I played a role as your co-founder that you removed in order to protect the foundation, right? Right? Yeah? Uh-huh. In 2014, Mihao was a, was a, was a co-founder, right? But then all of a sudden, when I brought this out to his attention, I was, whoa, 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 Mihao. Well, where did you get this from? You know? Dude, where's my credit? And all of a sudden, ooh, let's circle our wagons and let's do the centralized thing. And then you bring on, like, you bring on this, the founder of Consensus, which is kind of like the EPA bringing on the founder of Monsanto to basically run the entire organization. Yeah. Folks are going to expose what you're doing. They're going to expose the cartel. They're going to expose this, you know, this attempt to basically manipulate the system. And I'm just here to try to fix it. And if ETC will allow me, we'll fix it together. So I'm looking for, you know, I'm giving free fucks for ETC. That's right. Free fucks. That's our sign. Found up, you know, credits. Free fucks. It's going to be a coin on Ethereum. Give me your ET, uh, uh, e <laughs> ETC. Give us your ETC. Because if I get consensus, then I'll change the code the way I want. We'll add the noodle. We'll do all this stuff. And we'll basically crush Ethereum. So If you're part of ETC, that's my plan. Give, let me give you some free fucks. Give me your ether and then, or ETC, and then let's work together and I will show you that we can crush Ethereum and the rightful heir. This is like Game of Thrones, right? The rightful heir is classic. And this little bastard child, they goofed up. The little bastard child basically, you know, as uh, right now they have the lead. They've got the army, but core is coming. And, um, and let me tell you, I mean, there will be no organization on core. There will be no foundation. That's all centralized. We don't need that. I will be the head of the dragon sitting out of core. And if we need to litigate against something, I will litigate to something. And we'll have core behind us through consensus 
on every action. So through consensus, we will be independent of the 1%. We will be the first true um, blockchain type of society and we will lead the future and we'll bring you know, the paradigm of the blockchain to the world and in doing so, change the world. Okay, thanks again Vitalik for making such an amazing product. See you in Shanghai.